we're gonna go over how to troubleshoot our meshes. So here I've created a mesh and I'm going to run a check. I'll just type in check like this. And I have this selected and it says, this is a bad mesh. The mesh has six degenerate faces and two man non-manifold edges. So let's take care of that. So the first thing I'm gonna do to dissolve the the degenerate face issue is to type in call with the degenerate mesh faces. If you type in call, that should be the first thing that pops up. And all you have to do is press enter or space, and that should have taken care of the degenerate faces. Now the degenerate faces usually translate into non-manifold or naked edges, as you can see here. So here with the naked edges, how what can we do? Well, first we need to see where the naked naked edges are. So to see the naked edges, we're going to go to show edges. And once you hit space on that, you should have gotten this panel. Now, by default, all edges are selected. You want to select only the naked edges here. You only want to see the naked edges. And then you can press zoom to take a look at the first point. So because they're so little, I'll fix this. But otherwise, I would actually go back to my nerves model. I know that this is an easy fix. So what I'm going to do first is to X out of this panel here and click done. As you can see, even though I clicked done there, I still have this panel, so I'm still able to see the pink for the naked edges. As you can see, in all our mesh, all the vertices and the truss, they kind of connect together, except for this area. So what we're going to do is fine-tune this area manually and connect the vertices together. I'm going to type in SEL Naked Mesh Edge Point, which stands for Select Naked Edge Point, and I had this mesh selected. Once I did that, I'm going to be able to control all the vertices here. And I'm going to Shift Option Select, or it would be on a PC. Shift, um, I believe Shift Control Select on the PC. I'm going to select this one point. I'm going to make sure that point is checked off here. I'm going to snap from this point onto that point to connect them. See? Just like that. Here is an interesting situation. So there's not enough vertices to join with this area. What I'm actually going to do is I could could, you know, way I wouldn't move the vertices over in this situation. What I'm going to do is delete this face. So I'm going to type in delete mesh faces right here. I'm going to delete this face. As you can see, once you select that and you select anything, it will select the faces. I'm going to delete that area. I'm going to type in fill mesh hole. And then I'm going to click on this edge. And it should automatically pair up a new sort of patch and it just joined automatically everything together. Now I'm going to press escape a couple of times until all the um, points uh, disappear and we don't see them anymore. So now I'm going to run a check again and now it says it's a good mesh. All the other items don't really matter because now it's a good mesh. It does matter but it doesn't matter as much. So. Now we're not going to have any errors, I can just go ahead and select this and export selected.